Hey everyone, this is Sai here. I am a current NetSuite consultant with more than seven plus years of experience in integrating NetSuite with other third-party tools. I just wanted to create this video to help any junior administrators or people who just wanted to get started in NetSuite to crack their NetSuite administrator um, interview and possibly benefit off my experience working as a NetSuite admin and what um, features in NetSuite would allow you to make it easier uh, to crack the interview. First, I created a small guide that would allow to walk you through in our a demo account I have in NetSuite to like look at certain features that would make it more uh, comfortable for you to like crack that interview, especially like contracting or if you're looking for a full-time role. Uh, Sweet Foundation certification is the like the preferred way to go if you want to be an expert uh, in the NetSuite admin space, but to start off, um, I'm gonna go ahead with setup and administration. First thing we would do is um, go into setup, company, and enable features. This is the crux uh, or of where all your features would lie when you're a NetSuite admin. So. Make sure, making sure you understand the different options inside NetSuite is the way to go. So under company, you would have your basic classifications, how we would want to classify your departments, locations, classes, uh, how your project management projects are in the system. Basic ERP in general um, is also available here. Um, and the features like multi-currency, international language, currency exchange, integration, all of these will be here. So these features might seem overwhelming in the beginning. So you, as an administrator, you're not expected to, to like master all of them, but have a basic understanding of what feature might lay where. You always have um, like sweet answers over here, which might help you debug an issue. Or also, if you if you guys purchase uh, NetSuite support, um, you would be able to like raise a support ticket with them and get to the bottom of the issue. So I would say to crack the interview, the first um, like major uh, feature that I found useful was at least Sweet Cloud, um, especially like Sweet Builder, um, then Sweet Scripting, Sweet Flow, Sweet GL, Bundler, Sweet Bundler, and Sweet Talk, like SOAP and REST web services, and then the authentication, like as an admin, you need to make sure that your NetSuite instance is secure and people uh, are not able to like log in, you know, without the preferred way of um, logging into the system, making sure that it's your ID compliant with your organization. And you can also do additional integrations and access to additional Sweet Cloud development framework. So what constitutes the Sweet Cloud platform? So Sweet Builder. So you probably might have looked it up like uh, Sweet Builder when you're working on NetSuite or if you're just getting started, any record record type, sub tab, sub list, custom segments, and which provides for additional flexibility of customizing your existing um, like forms, PDF templates would constitute your Sweet Builder. So to give you guys a quick overview of Sweet Builder, like you, if you, like if you go into customization, like forms, for example, you want to create your own custom transaction form, right? With different fields based on like maybe a subsidiary. So you can always use uh, the custom transaction forms. Go, go ahead and do a, like a standard form. Click on customize. And um, this is where you would ideally customize your form and then get to like adding new fields, maybe making sure um, like it has the right templates for printing, right? You know, the right field groups where how it's classified, the different screen fields and in, in, available for this form are all part of this. So this is just an example of where Sweet Builder could be used. And again, one more an advanced feature is like using the advanced PDF templates. So for, say for example, you wanted to print off an invoice and you wanted it to be in a particular format. Um, so I would all I would have to do is go into like a, a standard invoice template over here and then click on customize.
So advanced PDF templates can be customized in two, two ways. Like one would be your native um, without no coding um, UI. You can add in objects using this plus icon here. You can add in fields, right? You can add in the, like your text, uh, images, tables, uh, so on and so forth here. But if you knew, if you know HTML and if you're uh, well versed with customizing the CSS as well, so I would definitely prefer going into the uh, the source code view. So you have to be careful when you're moving it to the source code view from the regular template view. Um, so it's called the WYSI WYG mode. Uh, maybe I'm pronouncing it incorrect, but yeah, this is the mode which shows up uh, without the code. So I'm just going to go into the HTML code. Um, and yeah, this allows you to customize it further. Um, have more customized options and you can add in additional logos, more images. Um, so this is one place I would definitely um, brush up your skills on. So you guys see here how you have your logo and the things are messed up. This is just a preview so you can definitely customize it as per your liking, your organization's liking and then save this and make this form a preferred form by going to template setup and then make this template as preferred. So any invoice form would uh, then use this template by default um, for printing off invoices or emailing invoices. The next area I would like to brush up uh, would be on the suite script side. So suite scripting um, is not necessarily a NetSuite administrator's job, but it's always good to be able to understand where like scripts could go wrong and like try and understand the debugging aspects of this. So the suite scripting, the scripts can be on the client side or on the server side. Um, so like client side scripts would be like, for an example would be validation of an email address, right? If someone just put in like a number on an email field, the client said suite script would uh, throw an error like before you could move to another field. And then the server side script, for example, would throw an error like on submission of a particular page. Um, for example, you forgot to enter like a mandatory uh, field, say quantity, right? It would throw an error like after you try and submit the form, which is a server side script. So like a quick refresher would be like going to customization scripting. Scripts new is where you would add a script into the system. And then you would, once you add a script, you can, you can always create a script record. And then you can like, like use scripting, script deployments to deploy that script record. Right. So there's a tool which allows you to like query data um, using the native NetSuite querying language. So select star from employee, for example, would, would ideally return all the employees in the system. See this? So this is just an example. Um, so you can use Suite Script to like create custom objects in, inside NetSuite or like, you know, custom validation or like enhance the additional, uh, enhance the functionality in NetSuite. Speed script can also use to like do uh, schedule scripts and map reduce scripts as well, and also scripts for custom portlets. So if you wanted to have a custom custom like portlet with additional uh, logic, and you want to see it in your home dashboard, uh, scripting would allow you to do that. Speed script would do. So um, like speed script would involve a lot of coding, which um, if you're not um, if you're not into development as much uh, or into coding, you could definitely use Sweet Flow to create custom flows or like, you know, custom um, like user events in, in the system that would allow you without the need for coding. You can, it's a drag and drop alternative. So all you would have to do is go into customization, workflow, workflows, and you can search in for the existing workflows in the system and customize on based on that or you could start off a new workflow from scratch and test it i would say use if you have if you guys have access to a sandbox environment start off with um using uh workflows or build sample workflows in the sandbox first before you could get started with uh, implementing them in production and also make sure you have a workflow uh, in debug mode before you could um 
click implement in production and then you know mess it up for everybody else so just be on the lookout for that um so i have two other topics which i would like to discuss is sweet talk so format so these two features um can be found under the enable features again set up company enable features under the sweet cloud platform uh, or the sub tab here so if you scroll um, the sweet talk menu here you could see that the soap web services and rest web services are, are enabled if you wanted to like use these features so as an ad admin you all you need, would need to do is to understand how these two work and you can definitely have additional documentation available on sweet answers so the, through the sweet analytics connect would be the reporting aspect of things so as an administrator you you would be expected to like create safe searches ad hoc analysis uh, work on different data sets workbooks and uh, native reports that enhance like the metrics that you can pull out of the system so connect is a feature like which enables you to export the data from NetSuite through odbc jdbc or dotnet and you can use that to extract data from NetSuite to be pushed to a database or a data warehouse and again uh, this is a very important feature in NetSuite where you could all, you could just create simple save searches going all the way to creating advanced reporting using the analytics tab here so to start off with basic save searches all you would need to go into is reports save searches all save searches and new to like create a basic save search and you can add on to your existing your uh, save search so for example i'm just going to create an account save search over here so you would need to understand what criteria is, results are, highlighting, available filters, audience to whom you're building the search, um, and roles. You can also email the safe search. So I would say this would be a great start for to become an administrator.